Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilona and I'm so excited to see you here. And in this very quick tutorial, I'm going to show you a very nice feature that I found recently. Actually, I have to create a 3D book for my project and I mean actually banded pages. And I don't want, you know, to use Cinema 4D. I try to avoid it. Um, and yeah, finally I found the solution that I want to show you as well. So here is my example. I created this very nice 3D page as you can see and we have very cool banded layer and actually I can add even light layer and you will see that everything looks nice and it tracks on the light as well. So how to do it? How to get this very nice actual result? Let me show you. Let's create the new composition. Let's add the solid layer. And here is a very tricky moment. You just can't turn your you know, layer to the 3D layer and then bend it. No, After Effects doesn't allow it uh, to do it, actually. So you have to move these to the precompose. Got it. Let's change the anchor point. Scale it a bit. Okay, nice. And then you have to make it a 3D layer. And don't forget to use Cinema 4D Renderer here. So basically you will get classic 3D, you have to turn uh, Cinema 4D. Okay, cool. And in this case, if you do everything correctly, you will get the geometry options and you will get this very nice feature that I even, you know, won't try to pronounce. Uh, and you can use it and as you can see, the layer is banded and it's super cool and actually you can add segments let's do it to make it more smooth okay and just let's animate it animate the rotation oops sorry wrong angle let's use this one something like this and of course this cool parameter as well to the zero let's change the timing a bit and and ta -da! here's our cool result so here in the precompose you actually can add any you know images or anything that you need that you want and you will see that you know everything works Perfectly. So that's how I'm going to uh, create the 3D book and later I will definitely share with you my results. But I'm super excited that I found this cool feature and the tricky point here is creating the precompose because without precompose we don't have uh, you know the access to this option. Uh, so here is a quick tutorial. Please let me know if it was useful, if it was something new and of course use it uh, for your next project and share with me on Instagram, by the way, you can follow me there and hit a like and drop a comment because it really helps me to build my blog and share more cool tips. Anyway, thanks for your time and bye!